Okay, here we are with Gleipnir episode 11. So yeah, if you like what you see, leave a like, subscribe, or comment. Let me know what you think. And I would say, let's get to the episode. Oh, straight into Elena. Nice dress. <clears throat> Indeed. Somewhat it is. Uh oh. <coughs> she doesn't like that. Damn. I really want to know more. In before King Kong comes in. Yeah, that's true. I guess that's true because they want to do it peacefully. Yeah, he dead. Yeah, this is like, I mean, it's, it's a rough ride. From fighting and stuff in the mountains to work. Well, what a great day. <laughs> I would be like, man, I can't work now. Mm. 
I mean, otherwise someone would be dead now. They're different. <laughs> That's pretty true. Especially if King Kong guy is alive because he is stronger. I mean, yeah, from what we saw. I mean, he must have drank it from the flashback we saw. Dang. Ooh. <laughs> oh, it transforms. Better safe than sorry. Abukawa was the guy that buried the dog. <clears throat> or was he maybe in the group, maybe? Oh.
But so he knew the Abukawa, Ab Abukawa, whatever. He must have seen Chuichi, right? Who was that with a sword? Oh. But I mean, like I said, if he has control of it, it doesn't matter if he can transform or not. Yeah, he thinks it's just enter entertaining. Who is that? Did we saw someone before with a sword? I don't think so. Yeah, right? He might have seen him. Oh, that, oh he survived. Unaffected. It seems like. Oh. I just want revenge. Five. What? I don't understand that. Five died. Everyone else made it down. But he's the only one left. I would say he's not at an advantage, right? Because he's just a plushie, basically. Sword is dangerous, I would say.
Or I guess someone like this, I guess he's strong enough, right? I wonder if he's transformed or not right now, right? He looks human. Okay, I guess the poison is slowly taking effect. Is he killing him now? Yep. God damn. What the fuck? Oh, this is the form he took? Oh no. Uh, I'm dumb. Nope, hunger. <laughs> Is this how this all started? This is how everything started. How do they make the connection? Like, oh, I have a coin. Let's go to this specific spot. Ooh.
Oh, is this one from the picture? He's super strong, I guess. It's her! What the fuck? Okay, that was the episode. Let me know what you think. But yeah, man, this episode, while being a calm, a, a calm episode, it's, I feel like, very packed with a lot of information. Like, we, ha we have the beginning with Elena confronting the alien. And it shows again that Elena wants to end this whole game. Because, I guess, which is the calm? Because something must have happened in the past, right? And that's why Elena is not with Chuichi anymore, right? Um, and she's very emotional about it and seems somewhat depressed at times, right? And she cried this time when she after she talked with the alien. So something really bad must have happened that she is so affected by it. And then we basically saw the whole... Um, how the others got affected after last episode, right? We saw the hack girl with the invisible girl talking and we saw the uh, plant growing kid with the fighting guy talk. Dude, I'm so bad with names, it's crazy. I can't remember them. But yeah, we saw everyone talk. Um, and we saw that it affects everyone. The pack girl, which is basically the leader, is like, how could this happen, right? Because she wants to do it, because she was the leader and she wanted to do it all peacefully. And she didn't want really to, to fight and all that stuff. But now they fight and almost died. So she feels bad about it. And then... The kid that can grow things obviously feels bad and feels like partially that it's his fault that so many died and, and it weighs on his conscience. Because without him growing all the plants that Claire gave him, it could have never worked. So yeah, obviously he feels very much at fault for it. Um, and I mean, he is like this wimpy guy obviously right not everyone can be like emotionally dead or something <laughs> but you know he's like this nice guy he doesn't want to fight he's not the fighting type he just wants to grow plants basically and you know he's basically the cause for many dead people so obviously and he's like pretty young still so yeah obviously it is bad for him and the other guy is like yeah Shuichi and Claire because the kid was like how could she come up with with this crazy plan, right? And the other guys like, yeah, they are weird that they are so calm about it, right? And I feel like this episode really, what this episode really shows is that Shuichi becomes more unhinged, right? Because when he talked to Claire, he's like, do you think the others, do you think there are some that survived? But not because he's concerned that they might be dead but because he's like, he's concerned for their own lives, right? Because he's like, they saw our faces, so he rather wants them dead so that they are safe. So he really comes to the realization now that you can't do it peacefully, right? If you do this thing, there's a lot at stake, and so you have to kill people at times, and you can't get around it. There might be no peaceful way around it. And obviously Claire feels, again, at first bad, because she, because she thinks that it also like weights on Shuichi's conscience because he's not the guy that wants to kill and so she's like sorry that I got you into this mess but yeah like I said Shuichi is more like um, concerned about their own safety and then yeah he found out that one of his friends from school that buried the dog is or was one of the bad guys basically in this scenario and then he died and suddenly he doesn't come to school anymore and he realizes, oh, 
basically everyone around you could maybe i mean they didn't really show it that way but i guess it's part of the realization that oh this one guy doesn't come to school after this happened now so anyone around you can basically people you think are normal could basically be someone that participates in these in this game basically and you might only realize it slowly after time that suddenly someone is not appearing anymore and is de basically dead because of that right if you don't hear about him anymore and then obviously he confrontates the alien about it and <clears throat> he's basically saying hey there are many people they might do it for different causes or whatever but they have all like good intentions basically like even though i think his name was Mad Doka, um, he just wanted the best for his guys, right? And uh, the group that Chu is with just wants the best by ending the game so that no one has to die in these games and everything, right? That this crazy game stops. So everyone has some, uh, well, not everyone, but many people have like good intentions in their own way. And yeah, just like that, it can happen that many die because of it, of this game. And he also wanted to know what what Eleanor, why Eleanor, basically, uh, uh, yeah, uh, what could you say, um, da, 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 um, manipulated his memories, like, erased some of his, his memories, but yeah, obviously the alien isn't telling him, and yeah, that scene also, like, basically confirms that Chuichi gets, like, more uh, determined to participate in this game because he wants to end this so that no one has to die i guess and that every everyone can go back to their normal lives after what happened in the last episode with so many dead and then we had the scene where one of the survivors from the last episode confronted him because he wanted to go after claire because he thought claire did it which she did but she, she said he did it and Again, another scene that basically shows that Chuichi becomes more unhinged and determined by, in this case, fighting the guy by himself and killing the guy, right? Um, so yeah, like I said, overall, I feel like this episode really shows that Chuichi becomes determined and more unhinged and realizes that he can't do it peacefully if he wants to do this coin collection thing and has to kill people at, point, at times. Um, to be able to do it and then basically the end of the episode is how everything started which is or which was a friend of elena who got elena and shuichi and some others um attention to this that if you find coins you can go to this alien and he grants you your wishes and so yeah the interesting part about this is basically we know how it all started now that this girl that went to the alien the first time, she gave him the idea with the wishes and the vending machine. And then she um, brought Elena and Shuichi and the others along, her friends. And so that's how everything started, basically. But then something must have happened, right? Because Elena is very much emotionally affected by something that happened, which is the reason why she is not friends with Chuichi anymore or not around Chuichi anymore and why she like erased part of his, his memories basically everything that revolves around Elena and what happened right make him forget about it um and yeah the one girl we saw in the picture with the like twin tails she I th I think we haven't seen her and the other two guys one was with Elena I think the one with the black hair and the one the other one we saw at the end of this episode and the interesting part is that the other guy we saw in the picture that we saw at the end of this episode he had a power where he spawns this like white girl um and she looked like Honoka, the girl that started this all so makes me wonder how this happened right <clears throat> i would imagine that if he has like a power that resembles her that she might be dead and then I'm wondering, is he maybe, was he maybe her boyfriend or maybe a brother and her death and they had maybe like a close relationship or whatever, right? 
and so his desire is the close affection to her maybe the close relationship uh, maybe is why his desire resembles her and that's his power basically right um so yeah interesting right i would say makes i i really want to know how what happened that it turned out this way right because from what we know now chuichi was one of the first that got the powers and then something happened which is like I said, why Elena and Chuichi and the others basically split up. Chuichi can't remember anything and Ellen, Elena is so affected by it. And we don't know if Elena and this one guy that we saw at the end of the episode, if they are like still in like one group. Maybe Elena and, uh, and the others go and find coins and the guy that we saw at the end of the episode maybe just protects the ship that no one goes there and collects coins, right? So that no one can get 100 coins. I guess, uh, yeah, just to like slow down others, right? I guess. Um, or maybe they somehow split up because they had like differences, right? Um, but yeah, we saw someone with a similar hairstyle being with Elena, right? With this like big hairstyle that goes like in all directions, just like big hair. Um, we saw one with Elena a few episodes ago, but yeah, it wasn't the same guy because this guy at the end of the episode had like this blonde hair and the other guy we saw in one of the other episodes that was with Elena when she talked to Yoshioka, he had like brown hair, so yeah. Very interesting. I really want to know what happened that things turned out this way. And I guess what also is very interesting is that Shuichi now multiple times said that he is not the main character of the story, but from our perspective, he is. And then we had the guy at the end of the episode now who says he is the main character, basically, and the end is already written. So, makes me wonder if that's actually the case, that it's kind of like a spoiler. Maybe at the end, Shuichi will die for some reason, which like kind of suggests that he's not the main character and that's why he dies. Um, or maybe it's like some kind of diversion, right? That Chuji says, says he is not the main character, but we know that he is the main character and the other guy thinks he's the main character, but then he will die at the end or something, right? And then it turns out that he's not the main character. It's interesting, like how it's like supposed to be, um, what's the word? Um, oh my God, let me, let me, let me check. What's the word? Um, I don't know how to pronounce it. To interpret that's a word whoop, whoop. um yeah it's like how is it meant to be interpreted right the meaning of chuji is not the main character but the guy, guy at the end is the main character um very interesting and yeah i mean that was episode 11 so we have one more episode that is like original and then we have one more episode that is anime original so we clearly won't get all the answers i guess so I guess we have to wait, well, I'm definitely very interested and I feel like I want to read the manga when this is done because I want to know what is going on because it's, like I said, very interesting. But yeah, that's the episode, so if you like what you saw, leave a like, subscribe or comment, let me know what you think, and I would say thanks for watching, until next time, bye bye.